Speaker, when history books are being written, they will tell a story of a liberation struggle movement that valiantly fought for the freedom of this country. And perhaps more devastatingly, they will tell the story of the same party, which in turn oppressed its own people through joblessness, unrelenting poverty, and how they ruthlessly looted public money. Imbali is a gubalong umbuto we ANC onga zangi ma katale la bandu nange kresha liga pupane we COVID-19. Uza ubali so nga ba pati so abalwe la inkunuleko ba pinda ba chisa nange mali ya bandu. Kwe kungokolo ngo umbuto wo tambo no sisulu o wapelis dima nengoni. Kwe kukunjula nge ANC ea ikwe sile ekwe lizwe longe ngo kuzmisela ekwe shangulene abandu that, members, is the fate of this organization that once commanded the respect of the world. It is now littered with criminals, crooks, and the most unsavory of characters. It has long forgotten the people who elected it to govern and only cares about lining the pockets of the political elite. However, today presents a unique opportunity, not only for members of the opposition who share our view about this cabinet, but for members of the ANC who no longer want to be lampooned with the rotten animals, apples of this bag. I know there are some of you who want to tell a different story, a story of courage in the face of intimidation. I know some of you want to tell a story and want to stand up and be counted on the right side of history where you voted to rid this country of the albatross that is its cabinet. You can proudly tell your grandchildren that you voted in favor of the future of our country over your own party political interest. You have an opportunity now to tell them that you abandoned your own perks of office and financial interests and chose the 12 million South Africans who are without jobs today because of you. Many Many of you here have made wrong choices before. You brought this country a president and then claimed that it was the nine wasted years. To the millions of South Africans out there who are without work, for them that was a painful decade. That was not nine wasted years. You now have a choice to make right your wrong. You have a choice to vote for jobs, to vote for safer communities, quality education and a health system. The drafters of the, this constitution created a provision for this house to express a vote of no confidence in its cabinet. They did so for moments exactly like this. A situation where members of the executive have neither the ability or the desire to represent the people who elected them. We know who they are. Who no we know who played leading roles in state capture on who, who stole money during COVID-19 and who failed to protect citizens during the July riots. These oh. are of the people whose presence in our executive can no longer be justified. And so, members, my plea to you today is very simple is that you vote for capable ministers who will work hard to pull South Africans out of poverty, who will be unapologetic about choosing policies that will grow our economy and create jobs, and ministers who will care enough, simply care enough about the future of this country. I ask that you put your personal and political interests aside and that you choose the people over the ANC. I ask that you use your conscience to finally mark your place in history as the MP who did the right thing over political expediency.